Danso in the streets, and we need to talk about Kevin. Saints have finally got their centre back. We've all been desperately pleading for in this window, and later than a South Western Railway service, he was announced this morning. Kevin Danso signs on a season-long loan from the German side FC Augsburg. Now, Saints had actually formally submitted a deal sheet at five o'clock yesterday on transfer deadline day, which allowed clubs to extend their negotiations for a further two hours in order to get it across the line. And certainly we did need it. The delay in the announcement also came about because uh, of uh, Augsburg were seeking confirmation from the German FA, who were basically uh, not willing to stay up past office hours in order to accommodate for the English. But all the paperwork's been signed, sealed, delivered, as they say, and he is now officially a Southampton FC player. And most importantly, next summer, Saints have an exclusivity to make this transfer permanent. So, who is Kevin Danso? I hear you ask behind those monitors. Well, Kevin Danso is a 20-year-old Austrian defender who primarily plays centre-back, but has played in a central midfield role Occasionally, Ralph will certainly be employing him at centre-back this season as a priority. Kevin Danso was born in Austria to Ghanaian parents, but moved to Milton Keynes, the home of the roundabout. At age six, uh, joining MK Don's Academy and staying there until 2014. Since then, Danso has played 45 times for FC Augsburg in the Bundesliga and Cup competitions and been promoted through the youth ranks to win six senior caps for Austria. Now, Danso, he is the perfect mould of exactly what sort of Hasen Hutel wants, a young, hungry player willing to prove himself in the Premier League, and he's not entirely inexperienced, of course. Now, my doubt is that at only 20 years old, he's not a finished article, so please don't expect too much too quickly. There you have it then, uh, Saints have announced and finally got their man. Let me know your reaction to the news and how does that now rank Saints transfer activities this summer? Let me know in the comments below.